Hermintrude was having a little sing and pretending she was performing at the Royal Albert Hall. Oh, ooh, perhaps a little water. Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, that's much better. Oh, oh, now I'm stuck here. Ooh, but doesn't my voice sound wonderful? Oh, oh, good heavens, what's that terrible noise? said Dougal. Great Scott, it's Ermintrude! She's fallen in. No wonder she sounds so awful. The great bovine blunderer. Don't worry, Ermintrude. We're going to get you out. Eventually. <laughs> oh, goody, someone must have heard me. I'd almost given up hope. You're in safe hands, madam. This is an international rescue operation. Ooh, how exciting. We're going to lower a safety harness down to get you out. A OK? said Dougal. A OK. Ready and waiting. <laughs> Stand by, all systems go. Thank you. Roger and out. Safety harness received. F A B OK from Blunderbird 3, etc., said Dougal. Uh, Blunderbird, shouldn't there be a rope attached to it or something? said Ermintrude. A rope, of course, coming up, said Dougal. Ooh, rope received. Now, how would you like me to sing a song to keep our spirits up, eh? La 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 la. I could change my mind about this rescue business, you know, said Dougal. Uh, Blunderbuss, could you give me a middle C? Middle C coming up, said Dougal. Ooh! Thank you! I'm feeling much more cheerful now. From the top. La 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 la! La 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 I'm afraid the strain's getting to her, said Dougal. She's starting to crack. Hello, Thunder Bunnies. Hang on in there, Ermy. We all think of something, said Brian. La 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 la! Like bricking the whole thing up, perhaps, said Dougal. This requires some serious thought. Ooh, take it away, brains, said Brian. Well, Mr. Tracy, it's a long shot, but by securely attaching a vessel containing a projectile, we might just be able to reverse this irreversible situation irreversibly, said Dougal. Get me in that. You must be joking, said Brian. What, and miss the chance of being the hero of the day and drinking a toast with Lady Penelope, said Dougal. Well, in that case, thunder slugs are go, said Brian. Ooh, hello, Brian. Do you know what's going on? No, but you play it and I'll pick it up as you go along. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah, Florence, just when everything was going so well. Hello, Dougal. Have you seen Ermintrude and Brian? Um, they're doing a little duet together at the moment, and I must say it's going down rather... Well, <laughs> Oh, Dougal, we've got to get them out. Zebedee! Three, two, one, blast off. Oh, hello there. Hello, dear hearts. I've had such a lovely time being rescued. Perhaps I could do my next concert down there. You'll all be very welcome. Oh, welcome. Do you get it? <laughs> Do you 
ever get the feeling that some things were just meant to happen, Mr. Rusty? said Florence. Oh, yes, Florence, said Mr. Rusty. Some people believe it's all written in the stars, that our lives are mapped out before us and we can't do anything to change them. And some people believe whatever they want to believe, said Zebedee. I wonder if we were meant to go to the Magic Garden today, or if we could just decide not to, said Florence. I think that if it's written in the stars, then we should take it as read, said Zebedee. Shall we go? I don't know, Dougal, said Brian. We Aquarians are very sceptical about astrology, on account of our rising signs, you see. Go on, take a chance, said Dougal. Come out of your shell for once. This miraculous machine you see in front of you is capable of predicting your future with a hundred percent accuracy. Take the horror out of your horoscope. For only a small amount of sugar, you might find you've got a wonderful future ahead of you. What have you got to lose, eh? <laughs> I can't imagine you'd find your life was going to get much worse. Well, seeing as you put it like that, Dougal, I might as well give it a try. This year is very important to you, as it is the year of the snail. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you know that, Dougal? Now, the path before you is overgrown with tangled roots. Oh, yes, that's true. How very true. How very true indeed. The lunar eclipse on the 24th brings out your ascendant sign, making this a good time to be open-hearted and generous, especially with sugar. That's amazing, Dougal. It's me down to the ground. It's so accurate. Oh, yes, yes. It's all written in the stars, you know, said Dougal. Can I have a go? said Ermintrude. I'm Bovarian, you know. I'd love to know my horoscope. Go ahead, please, said Dougal. We're not choosy here. This year is very important to you, as it is the year of the cow. I didn't know that. How exciting. The path before you is overgrown with tangled roots. Oh, gosh, how true. How very true. The lunar eclipse on the 24th brings out your ascendant sign, making this a good time to be open-hearted and generous, especially with sugar. Hmm. Ah, uh, quite. Yes, exactly, said Dougal. That's me to a T, Dougal, especially about my being open-hearted and generous. That's the trouble with us Bovarians. We're just so bountiful. Another satisfied customer, said Dougal. Now, how about you, Florence? Oh, yes, please, Dougal. I'll have a go. The bath before you is overflowing with mangled boots. That can't be right, can it, Dougal? said Florence. Um, yes, well, you're not supposed to take it literally. Um, just get an impression. <clears throat> uh, hello, Dylan. Got any sugar? Yeah, sure. Now is a good time to clip your toenails. Wow, deep. Excuse me a moment, said Dougal. I think I need to make a few adjustments. Oops. Oh, oh dear. Having technical problems? asked Zebedee. No, no, no. Just running a little low on sugar, that's all. I think it's just as well we can't see into the future. I mean, how would we ever remember to be taken by surprise? said Florence. Live for today and see what tomorrow brings. Don't you agree? <coughs> Mr. Rusty, 
It's be nicer to your neighbour's day today, said Florence. Everyone's making a special effort to be a little more thoughtful and considerate. What a cracking idea, Florence. A special day for good neighbourliness. Perhaps we should have some balloons and streamers and print a slogan on them. Something like, it's time for neighbours. How about some cheerleaders with pom-poms and a huge inflatable bouncy bungalow, said Zebedee. Well, I thought I'd just ask people if they needed any help, said Florence. Quite right too, Florence, said Zebedee. You lead the way. Generous to a fault, that's me. Some day I'll be appreciated for my selflessness and my good works, said Dougal. I shall probably be awarded the OBE for this. Or perhaps I shall be knighted. Hello, Dougal, said Florence. Is there something I could do for you today? No, 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 nothing for myself. Not even a cube of sugar, said Dougal. I've devoted the whole of today to helping others. That's why I made this flag for us to fly over the garden as a symbol of good neighbourliness. Splendid idea, said Mr Rusty. So whenever we look up and see it flying there, it'll remind us of what a special day it is today. I thought perhaps we could have a flagathon, said Dougal, and broadcast it by satellite. It looks wonderful, said Florence. Yes, yes, you need to stand back to get a proper look at it. What? What, 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 what? What's happened to my flag? It's that wretched, frumpy Frisian again. Now, now, Dougal, remember what day it is today, said Florence. Hello, dear hearts, do you like my flag? I thought we needed something rather jolly and hospitable looking. My dear Ermintrude, said Dougal, what has a cow got to do with goodwill and universal friendship? Take it down immediately. Of course, Dougal, dear, I'll do it straight away. Anything to be helpful and neighbourly today? Oh, yes, thank you. Very kind, said Dougal. Very considerate mammal, that Ermintrude. Now, let's have a proper look at this flag. What? Not again? Where is it? Where's it gone? That's funny. It can't have just blown away, said Florence. And I'm sure Ermintrude put it back up. I saw her do it myself, said Mr Rusty. Hey, like, charity begins at home, right? You've got to, like, be kind to yourself before you can, like, be kind to others, right? What have you done to my flag? said Dougal. Do you know you've just destroyed my chance of ever getting the MBE? I like saw this crazy flower blowing in the wind and I thought, wow, that would make like an amazing t-shirt for my sponsored sleepathon. How selfish can you get? said Dougal. Here we are all being nice and neighbourly, and you take down our flag, and you cut it to pieces to make yourself a nightshirt. A warm and hearty welcome to one and all, said Brian. Is it good neighbour's day today? Why don't you roll yourself into a ball and fall down a hole? Yes, it is, Brian. We're supposed to be being nice to each other, said Florence. Oh, good, because I've designed us a special flag to fly over the garden, said Brian. A cabbage leaf. How very appropriate. That just about sums up the spirit of goodwill around here, said Dougal. Oh, dear, what I have to put up within this place. The grief, the heartache. Perhaps I could be given an award for that. <laughs>
Hello, Mr. Rusty, said Florence. I'm meeting Dougal in the garden today, and we're going for a ride. <coughs> ah, so you're dusting down the old carriage, are you? Saddling up the horses, and making speed along a rough dirt track. Oh, no, we're going for a ride in a car. Oh, of course. The days of horse and carriage have long since disappeared, haven't they? This ought to do something for my status around here, said Dougal. Twelve cylinders of turbocharged, gas-guzzling, road-hogging automation. Hello, Dougal, said Florence. Oh, Florence, park yourself in the back seat and we'll head off into the sunset. Of course, it's got a catatonic converter and twin scribble giblets in the Widgema gasket. There seems to be a lot of smoke coming out of the bonnet, Dougal. Is there? I can't see a thing with these goggles on. Now, let's have a look. Have you checked your oil and water? said Florence. My personal hygiene's got nothing to do with it, said Dougal. No, it's the, uh, it's the, um, engine, said Florence. Yes, the engine. It's, um, it's, uh, not working. <coughs> Well, then, we'd better call the breakdown service, hadn't we? said Florence. Quite, yes. Um, hello? My car's broken down. What's the problem? It's not working, that's the problem. Magic Garden. G-A-R-D-E-N. You'll send someone right away? Good. No, I don't want a mortgage. Hello there. Engine trouble, is it? Soon fix that, said Brian. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Yep. No, not that one. Look here, you. That's one of the scribble giblets you're throwing around. Are you really from the breakdown service? No, but I know a rabbit who is, said Brian. Hi there. Sorry I'm late, but the uh, traffic was, like, laid back, said Dylan. I think I'll be on my way now, said Brian. The trouble with this car is it's got metal fatigue. That was a very pleasant little walk, Florence. Now, I wonder if our motor has been fixed by that ridiculous rabbit. He's a very, very nice rabbit, said Florence. Look at this, asleep on the job. What's the use of all that mechanical know-how if you can only use it in your dreams, said Dougal. Hello, dear hearts. Someone call a cow, said Ermintrude. Call a cow, call a cow. Why ever would we do that? Except... Perhaps to settle a little argument we were having. Florence was saying that horses are stronger than cows, and I disagree. Want to prove me right? Ah, what you want is a little bit of a toe, said Ermintrude. Ah, uh, yes, a little bit of a toe might settle it. Or possibly a big bit of a little toe. Or perhaps a little bit of a big toe. Now, if you're ready, Ermintrude, why don't you show us what you're made of? Certainly, Dougal. Nothing like a bit of cow power when it comes to playing horse and cart. Horse and cart? This is a state-of-the-art motor car. It's got twin scribble giblets and it goes from 0 to 60 in two seconds. Now, gee up! 